All right then, welcome back to our Guadeloupe challenge as we try to win a CONCACAF competition with a non-FIFA nation. And thank you, by the way, everyone, for your votes on the poll while I was away on holiday. Unfortunately, it turns out most of you were a little bit too optimistic about our Nations League chances. But today we're back in Gold Cup action, or Gold Cup qualification action at least. We take on Curaçao today in the semi-final. If we can win, we're going to face either Puerto Rico or Haiti for a place in the Gold Cup proper. Which, yeah, is the minimum the FA expect me to deliver. But before we get into that game with Curaçao, a bit of a look at the squad here because there have been a few changes. So after that Nations League campaign, we had a few players retire, including our semi-consistent but best we've got striker Florian David, who retired at only 32. But we have persuaded some French players to join us, like Kevin Danois. Now he plies his trade at Auxerre in France, and at just 20, hopefully we've got a good few years to come from him. And we've also got Leo Montou of Metz. He's a fit and pacey winger, high determination, a little bit of flair. Also from Auxerre, we've got Alexandre Clary, but yeah, we're not going to get too excited about him. And our final player to switch allegiance from the French is the mysterious Kenny Mixture. Plays for Le Havre, and well, he'll make a decent backup. 2024 was all about friendlies. We did fairly well, only two defeats. We went to try our hand in Europe, try our luck there. We lost away to Luxembourg. We lost away to Panama as well in Florian David's penultimate game. But we picked up wins whenever we played Caribbean opposition. So Trinidad and Tobago, French Guyana, Curaçao. Now we beat them 4-0. They may have feel a weakened side on that day, but that bodes well perhaps for our upcoming playoff. We also beat Cayman Islands, Dominica, and then we got St. Bart's and San Martin, also unranked nations, but dealt with them pretty easily. So let's go straight to it. Guadeloupe, Curaçao. Hopefully we can match that result we got in the friendlies, but I know it could be tough. But we're going to be bold here. We've got the home advantage, so we're going with our more attack-minded 4-2-3-1 formation. Let's see if Pen Archimede up front turns out to be a kind of eureka moment. All right, so the teams are out, ready to kick this thing off. Let's get to it. Curacao do have Tahith Chong, who Birmingham fans may be familiar with. But we're starting with a Guadeloupe free kick. Baron. Oh, that was close. That was close. And Archimede, that was not so close. It was blocked by a defender, but a positive start from us. A couple of set pieces already start, as you mean to go on, and all that. And can we get something from this corner? No, not yet, but we've started on the right note. But now Curacao free kick. They whip that into the box. Can we get this off them and launch a counter-attack? Or are we going to give away a penalty? No, thankfully not. That counter-attack is on. Phaeton gives it away. All right, but he wins it back. <laughs> okay, good. Nice bit of back and forth. That's what we like to see at this level. Long ball hoofed up. Romil plays it through to Casimir. Casimir forces the keeper into a very good save. So we've got the corner here. Can we knock this one in? Get ahead on it and get ourselves a goal here. And Oman too. Mon two, one of the new boys in the squad, hammers that against the woodwork. That was close and hopefully not a chance we come to regret missing later on. But, okay, Curacao, the highlights still going. We've still got the ball. We keep coming back at them. It's Mon two again. What a save from the keeper. No, it hit the bar and went out. My God, that boy's on fire. Oh, another free kick. And it's that guy we mentioned earlier, Chong. And Curacao. Oh, good safe hands from the keeper. Well played, Mr. Ruyard. Right. We are halfway through this first half. We need a goal. We need a goal. Montu plays it through to Archimede. Archimede, too close to the keeper. Come on, man. Right, another free kick. Although not in such a dangerous position. This time for Curacao, we've dealt with that nicely. Folkier, a veteran of our previous Gold Cup campaign, of course. Romil plays it out to Phaeton. Phaeton was looking for Archimede in the middle, but couldn't quite find him. We get another chance here, though. I like the way that the press is relentless. We just keep coming at them here. But we need a goal here. We want to get a goal. Take a lead into the halftime break. Make that halftime team talk 
all the easier. Mon 2 now gets the cross into Casimir, and there we go. That's the goal we were looking for. Oh, and we're straight back into it from the kickoff here. Curacao, hopefully they are not just going to go and equalise straight away. We worked hard for that goal, and we've won it here. We're keeping that pressure on. Archimede, Archimede, get in. Eureka indeed. So look at that. Both goals given as being in the same minute. 32 minutes. Double goal for Guadeloupe. All right, the highlight continues here with the goal kick. We do not want to let Curacao get a goal back before half time. Let's just play out this final five minutes. Keep ourselves, keep that clean sheet intact. Romil, and it's come through to Phaeton. Come on, come on, boys. Come on, play it nice and calm. All right, Curacao, I think, you know, they will obviously be looking to get back in this, reduce that deficit before half time, but they've left themselves exposed. And it's Montu. He's deserved that goal, but is it going to be taken away from him? Yes, it is. It's been disallowed for offside. He just moved a bit too early, got a bit too excited there. But all right, we're just keeping that pressure up. We've just got to keep at it. We are not going to back off on this Curacao side. And there we go. Phaeton does get the third goal. And at halftime, we are looking good. We are good for that 3-0 lead, dominating on the XG as well. But no changes. Straight back out for the second half. Let's see if we can better that friendly result we got over Curacao last year, which was 4-0. Casimir, there you go. We've got our fourth goal straight away. All right, a throw in here. Phaeton looking for Casimir once again. I think... Going attacking in this game was definitely the right choice, and we've won a penalty. Casimir is going to take this one. Is this going to give him a hat trick? Well, there you go. He's tucked it away, and that was indeed his hat trick. Fantastic stuff. Okay, but there's more highlights to come. Maybe more goals to come. 5 0 up. I think we can safely say we're through two the final round of qualification. Archimede, is he going to make it? Six. Oh, lovely dink, but it's cleared off the line. I think we might need goal line technology to double check on that one. All right, we've got Curacao now late on, looking to launch an attack, and they get a goal back. And there we go. No further goals to be had after that strike from Jenga, that consolation goal. So a big win for us oh and elsewhere look at that haiti a late late goal 90 plus four gets them the win over puerto rico so our group opponents from two years ago are going to be the team that stand between us and the gold cup proper this time all right so we've jumped ahead three days for the next game we're home again against haiti now haiti they're ranked 86 in the world and curacao if we check them ranked 83rd so i'm sticking with this attacking 4-2-3-1 formation we certainly want to keep that attacking for the same what would you do in this situation let me know in the comments would you go all out attack for the second match in a row all right so the teams come marching out we've got the anthems let's get straight into the game Ooh, experience haiti have experience in their team you could see him there taking the throw in but hopefully their experience will be outmatched by ours as we try and take this game by the scruff of the neck an early goal would be fantastic if we can get it well we've got control of the ball here we can say we don't seem to be even though we're playing the same formation we don't seem to quite be pressing with the same urgency maybe because it's the first minute and look at that archimede what a brilliant goal how did he how did how did he find that space how did the guy pick him out that is fantastic let's take another look at that one so phaeton plays it into montu Look at that. Montu plays the lofted ball. Archimede just thinking ahead of the defenders. Beats the keeper to it. Perfect start. Corner. Corner here. Are we going to get a second goal early as well? When we haven't even got five minutes on the clock. We could do, you know, Romil intercepts there. Can we get something? There is a lot of the ball being given away once again. So we're going to have to watch out for that when we get to the Gold Cup. When we come up against teams like the USA and Mexico, we can't afford to be doing that. And look at that. Past the halfway point in this first half, we haven't let Haiti have a sniff of goal yet. And as I say that, they just had their first shot. It wasn't on target, though. But anyway, we're past the half hour mark. A second goal before half time, just to put us at ease 
That would be wonderful. Is Archimedes going to provide it here? Oh, he went for something clever, but there was a foul there, so it wouldn't have counted for anything anyway. All right, we are into the final minute of this first half here. Can we get that second goal before half time? There's going to be two minutes added on after this, so there's certainly, you know, there's time to get the job done. Fumont, come on, Fumont plays it out wide to Clary. He was looking for Archimedes. But the defence just beating him to it. That's the thing we're lacking really in this Guadeloupe team is an out-and-out -out striker, a real goal scorer. Hopefully we can find one soon enough. Casimir, ooh, we went for something from a tight angle there. So there you go, half-time. Haiti yet to have a shot on target. We are dominating this one, but we're only a single goal in front. So once again, no changes at half time. And are we going to get an early goal in this second half? No, not from that corner. All right, we're starting. This is nice. We're starting with the goalkeeper on the ball, building out of defense. I like where this is going. A little bit patient. We don't want to be too hasty. I guess we couldn't keep that gung-ho pressing up for two games in a row. But we're still getting into those advanced positions. It's just that final ball into the box that's a bit lacking today. We're not exactly fresh. Of course, Haiti, they had to fight hard to beat Puerto Rico. And oh, dearie me, they did not have to fight hard for that goal. I mean, look at this. Sent Roof gets caught in possession and nobody's picking up, what's his name, Prunier in the middle. Right, maybe we should have, you know, dialed things back a little bit and not gone all attacking. But no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the team a chance to redeem themselves here. Let's get a quick second goal. But no, suddenly Haiti are coming at us. But good, Casimir has won the ball. He takes it into the box. He's unchallenged. Forces the keeper into a save there. Can we get anything from the corner? We will see. I'm going to make substitutions after this because I do have some tired players out on the pitch. Archimede plays it back out to Casimir. Casimir is offside. Right, I'm thinking here, Marcus Coco. I'm going to bring him on for Phaeton. Phaeton, I mean, he's been all right, but he's not having a fantastic game. Gravillon, this is tough. Best player, but he's looking tired. We don't want him making mistakes in defence, so I'm going to put the Baron on in his place, and that'll do for now. We do have Falkier on a yellow, but he's playing at right back, and he's the only recognised right back in the squad, so we're not going to take him off yet. All right, Archimede. Got in the right position there, but couldn't connect with the header. And now we've got Haiti on the counter-attack. Some good defending there. Aggressive. I like it. Anyway, let's see. Now, can we get that second goal to retake the lead and put ourselves in the driving seat for a place at the Gold Cup? Clary, he died. Don't know what he was going for there. I'm not sure he knew what he was going for. Was he going for a cross or a shot? Answers on a postcard, please. Haiti launching one, but again, we win it. We'll, you know, if they want to launch balls at us like that, we will take them all day. Archimede again beaten to it. Might have to take him off. He has got a decent rating there. He did, of course, score that early goal, but he's been ineffective in the second half. The defence have just got him in their pocket at the moment. Uh, now we've got to survive this attack. Have we given away a penalty? Oh my God. No, we have. We've given away a penalty. This oh, this could be disaster here. And he oh, plays it straight down the middle. I hate it when that happens. Suddenly our Gold Cup dream is slipping away. Now Archimede, I mean, I've got a couple of strikers on the bench, but they're nowhere near as good as him. So I think in Kevin Danois, I'm gonna actually going to bring him on for Ramil um, as a central midfielder. Let's see, in that box-to-box -box role, can he add a bit of energy to our attacks? So we're going to start sending the ball out to the flanks. I've told the team to play a bit wider. We're going to push that defensive line up a lot more. Let's go for whipped crosses. We'll try and use a bit of our pace. We'll get shoot on sight. I know it's early days for that, but um, I think we're just, we're just not being effective in the box at all. So let's give a team talk here to Danois. 15 minutes to turn this around. Come on, Guadeloupe. You can do this. 10 minutes now. Right, we are approaching stoppage time. We've had no highlights yet. So I'm putting Danois up there with Archimede. We're going to leave ourselves a bit short in midfield. But, you know, we will just go incredibly direct. We will start putting the ball over the opposition defence. 
for our guys to run onto. We don't think there's much else we can do, basically, but it looks like ugh, we failed to get out of our CONCACAF Nations League group and we've failed to qualify for the Gold Cup. We're going backwards. So yeah, we were beaten by a super sub defeat in the CONCACAF Gold Cup playoff. The Football Association disappointed that we were only fairly competitive or that we didn't qualify. They can understand we had a difficult draw. Okay, thanks. They're determined to keep faith in my managerial ability and we won't read the rest of that sentence. Montu, he's been good in these two games. I like that. So next time, we're not going to be bringing you any Gold Cup action. We won't have the Gold Cup group stage to play. We are just going to skip ahead to the autumn for the next round of the CONCACAF Nations League. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it.